Okay, in today's video we're going to actually take a look at uh, two charts. I'm going to look at the transports and then also FedEx. And I've been hearing a lot about uh, how the transports are taking this market down. All I know is that I found some support. So let's see if it continues to hold or not. But where it comes in is um, with a 100% projection of a prior swing that also overlaps a 1272 extension of this low to high. And then there's also a 1618 extension of this low to high. We're seeing a nice bounce off of this area, but you can't really expect it to resume the rally in earnest unless we can clear this symmetry resistance, okay? And the symmetry comes from taking these two prior rally swings, projecting it from the recent low. If we can push through this area on the transports, then it starts to look a whole lot better for at least a deeper upside correction and possibly more. Okay, so that's one thing to consider. The other is, um, you know, here's a setup in, in FedEx and it kind of has a similar look. We have some symmetry support that also overlaps a 382 retracement of a larger swing. We've held above that area. We've seen at least short-term buy triggers, but we can't really expect it to go anywhere unless we can also push through this 211.26 to 89 area and that resistance or hurdle comes in from the fact that we have 100% of these two prior rally swings projected from the recent low that also overlap a 618 retracement. So that's what we need to um, clear if it is going to continue to rally from this last low and if we do clear that area then know that the potential upside target that we'd be shooting for is the 1272 extension of the swing into the zone or the 223.82 area. And then of course I will consider myself dead wrong if we break underneath this support.